In sheer numbers, the People's Liberation Army Navy PLAN, is now the largest navy in the world, though it lags behind the U.S. Navy in terms of capabilities. Russia is also modernizing its navy. Given the situation, the U.S. military is honing its anti-surface warfare capabilities. U.S. Pacific Fleet Command released a video from the sinking exercise Sink -X, which is part of the annual Rim of the Pacific Rim Pack, 2022 Military Forces exercises. The footage depicts the sinking of a U.S. Navy vessel. This year's target was the retired guided missile frigate USS Rodney M. Davis. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the U.S. military has sent out a warning to Russian and Chinese warships with Sinkex. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support, so grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. USS Rodney M. Davis FFG was an Oliver Hazard Perry class guided missile frigate of the United States Navy named for Marine Sergeant Rodney Maxwell Davis. 1942 to 1967, who was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor for his heroism in the Vietnam War. The warship has a length of 445 feet or 136 meters and displaces around 4,200 tons when fully loaded. Oliver Hazard Perry class frigates made worldwide news during the 1980s. Despite being small, these frigates were shown to be extremely durable. During the Iran-Iraq War, on the 17th of May 1987, USS Stark FFG-31 was attacked by an Iraqi warplane. The ship was struck by two Exocet anti-ship missiles fired from an Iraqi aircraft officially identified as a Dassault Mirage F-1 fighter. On fire enlisting, the frigate was brought under control by its crew during the night. The ship made its way to Bahrain where, after temporary repairs by the destroyer tender USS Acadia to make her seaworthy, she returned to her home port of Naval Station Mayport under her own power. The ship was eventually repaired at Ingalls Shipbuilding in Mississippi for $142 million. Less than a year later, on the 14th of April 1988, USS Samuel B. Roberts FFG-58 was nearly sunk by an Iranian mine. No lives were lost, but ten sailors were evacuated from the warship for medical treatment. The crew of Samuel B. Roberts battled fire and flooding for two days, ultimately managing to save the ship. This year's Sinkex included assets from Australia, Canada, Malaysia, and the U.S. Multiple strikes were carried out against USS Rodney M. Davis and it was ultimately sent to the bottom on July 12th in waters 15,000 feet deep, 50 nautical miles or 92 kilometers north of Kaui, Hawaii. The Royal Canadian Navy frigate HMCS Winnipeg fired two harpoon missiles. A U.S. Navy P-8A Poseidon maritime patrol aircraft deployed an AGM-84D harpoon missile and an F-A-18 Super Hornet from Nimitz-class aircraft carrier USS Abraham Lincoln launched a GBU-16 laser-guided bomb. Also, in a first for the Royal Malaysian Navy, one of its vessels, the Corvette KD Lecker, participated in Sinkex, firing an Exocet MM-40 missile. The Harpoon is an all-weather, over-the-horizon, 
anti-ship missile developed and manufactured by McDonnell Douglas, now Boeing Defense, Space and Security. It has subsonic speed, but because of its sea-skimming flight profile, it's hard to intercept. Depending on the variant, it can strike targets at a maximum range of 120 nautical miles or 220 kilometers. The GBU-16 is an American laser-guided bomb based on the 1,000-pound, 450-kilogram Mark 83 general purpose bomb, but with a laser seeker and wings for guidance. It has a range of 8 nautical miles or 14.8 kilometers. Exocet MM-40 missile is built by MBDA, a European missile company. It has several versions that can be launched from surface vessels, submarines, helicopters, and fixed-wing aircraft. It has a high subsonic speed and a maximum range of 110 nautical miles or 200 kilometers. It's important to note that ammo and missiles were removed from the USS Rodney M. Davis before the event in case they were present. The severity of hits would have been even more due to secondary explosions. Another aspect to take into account is that the US has more advanced anti-ship weapons like LRASM which were not deployed in this event. The timing of SYNCAX is also important. On the 14th of April, the Russian Ministry of Defense confirmed that the Russian Navy's Black Sea flagship RTS Moskva 121 has been sunk. The frontline warship had a triple-layered air defense system but was unable to stop the two incoming Neptune anti-ship missiles. Viewers may note that Neptune is a subsonic missile and the warship had only a couple of them to defend against, but it failed. Royal Canadian Navy Rear Admiral Christopher Robinson, Deputy Commander of the RIMPAC Combined Task Force, said, This exercise provided a great opportunity for the extremely talented sailors, soldiers, and aviators who comprise the RIMPAC 2022 team to hone their skills in a live-fire setting. There's nothing that really replaces the training value of opportunities such as this, which enable us to test our weapons and their associated combat systems with as much realism as possible. These live-fire exercises are vital for maintaining our proficiencies, building our interoperability, and increasing our readiness for future operations. While SYNCX is essentially a test, but it's also a real-life demonstration of what American adversaries like Russia and China would face in case of an actual confrontation. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.